Alright, so guys, so as you've seen in the last video, hopefully you watched it. Corvette did fire. It didn't seem to want to run very well, so I'm thinking the gas tank's clogged up, but carb's definitely dirty, so we got some new stuff here. Got the air cleaner, Edelbrock. Got valve covers. Got a new water pump. Got a new carburetor. An intake manifold. Some goodies to put on there to doll it up a little bit. So that's what we're gonna do. This video is gonna be tearing all the small stuff out, getting rid of that, taking it off, dolling up the motor a little bit, new water pump, and then start really checking things out and cleaning it up and see if we can get it to run good. And then we're gonna go from there on it. So we're gonna go through everything. We're gonna figure it out, tear it down and put it back together. I still got a couple parts I need to go pick up. I gotta go get my gasket kit and some parts for the brakes. But we'll get to but that first so place. i'm just going to give you a rundown real quick so we're going to start with the carb i'm going to take the carb off that way i can see all the bolts to my intake and all that so there's going to be a bolt right here right here one right here and then one underneath this right there we'll get the carb off start stripping out most of the vacuum lines and all that to where i can actually see what's going on right here unhook the radiator hose we're going to pull the valve covers off which is there's this four bolts one there, one there, one there, one there. I'm gonna pull those off. Intake, we'll get a better shot of that when I get it all clear, but they're all across right here. I just got my gasket kit so we can get moving on this. Okay, so what I'm gonna try is to do, I'm gonna weld a nut on there. Probably cover everything up, but whatever. It's just a quick weld, real quick. This nut. Weld it on there. Try to cover it all up as best I can, just a little bit, just enough to get that weld right there and not drop any anything down in my holes. Different nut. Try this again. 
If this don't work, it's going to be pretty close to flush. So let's just hope for... Let's just hope someone's looking out for me. lucky with this one. I'll let this one cool off a little bit though. Maybe or maybe maybe I hit the last one a little too soon but I did use a cheap cheap nut that didn't really fit. So this one threaded on there. It might help it, it might not, I don't know. We're gonna find out. I'm just hoping this comes out this try because if it don't, if it breaks off again, it could be pretty screwed. This is the only thing stopping me from putting everything back together right now. So wish me luck. Now, with the, that I got that out, I can start reassembly, clean up my gasket area, and uh, get this thing going back together. So, we're gonna try to get it slapped back together.
All right, what's up guys? So now we got the engine pretty much looking all pretty. got the new plugs, new wires, valve covers, intake, carburetor. I got the radiator plumbed in, got the new thermostat housing. I've been fighting with this car to get gas. So I've been going through the fuel pump and trying to clear out the lines. Finally found the issue. I haven't even test fired it yet. So I'm getting real excited. We're getting real close to test fire. So let me show you what I was having a problem with the fuel. Fuel pump is good. I got a new one coming anyways. It's an old fuel pump. The lines up here going back are all clear. So I had those all clear. And then when I got back here, the fuel sender was clogged up. Uh, this tube, the, the main feed tube was clogged up on my fuel sender. I just unclogged it because this part's really hard to get. It's going to take a while. So believe it or not, it does come out of this hole right here. You will have to fight with it. You got to like turn it sideways and get it to pop out. But I've emptied the tank out. I vacuumed it out in there. It's pretty clean. Wiped it out with the rag. Waiting on parts. Sometime today I'll get my sock to put this back in there and have the car back together and then we could test fire. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of where we're at. We're moving along. Hopefully have this car running by the end of the day. All right, so finally got it i just got it all primed and everything i dumped gas straight down the gas line to fill the foot bowl i finally got my uh my screen for inside the fuel tank so that's all in there i just poured a couple gallons of gas in it so we'll see if i got my eyeball timing kind of close or what i need to get a timing light i don't own one but we're gonna figure it out so see if she fires up I think we're picking up gas. Eric, are you doing video? So we might be picking up gas. It looks like a little bit in there. Wonder why that's staying. Okay, let's try it again. We're running a little fast right there, so I don't know if there might be a small vacuum leak somewhere or something. Looks like I'm having a problem picking up gas. Oh, I did empty the whole fuel line out. Maybe I'll just double check for my uh, gas lines and all that. Make sure they're all good. Because that doesn't look like it's picking up any gas. But anyways, there you have it. All the stuff on there it does need a timing adjustment because it was running a little funny, but it did fire. So that concludes this mission right here. I'm going to uh, black the car out, get rid of all this primer until I get a body guy to do the rest of the work on it. But for now, that's all. Thanks for watching. Here's the Corvette.